Hello. Good evening. My name is Samuel Hitchin. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. The program is the local name given to me in Russia and Ghana. So in Ghana, when I say come now, it means Tuesday boy. So I'm here to do my first interview with my beautiful lady here from the States. No, it's not, it's not a stranger, you know. It's just part of her, because of something that she wasn't part of us. Now she's here to do so many kind of things. So, you know, I don't, I don't talk much. Yeah, I wanted uh, to you know, introduce my beautiful lady here. Hi. Hi, hello. What's your name? I am Chancia Willis Johnson, and I am so delighted to be here with you tonight. Thank you very much. You know, we went to a lot of pleasure uh, yesterday. We have to do it, but we couldn't do it. It's very exciting to you know, look at it. Thank you, for your, thank you very much for your time as well. And this time, those, my brothers and sisters who are watching us on Facebook, the first name is Nipanya. The Nipanya is N E A N Y. You can channel it on Facebook. You can share and comment. If you have any comment, let me know so I can read it here. So, what brought you in Ghana? Uh, well, I've always wanted to come back to Ghana. I've been here before. And um, things are getting very rough in the United States. So I have a small son, um, and you know, I said I have to find another home for us. And so, I've always loved the Ghanaian people. The big heart, the big smile, and the love. So I said I'll come back here for another visit to see if this will be our new home. Absolutely, and this is your new home. It's not even your new home, it's also to your home. And you came with Omani Tamani the ambassador who brought you guys. Yeah. And I think you guys are not in the same state. So how, how, how were you able to locate Omani? Well, I think it was God. I really do. I um, My sister told me about Omani. I told her I want to go back to Ghana. And I want a very, very good tour guide who will show me all of Ghana and also show me how to buy land. And she said, oh, Bomani, I will give you Bomani's number. And I called Bomani and I told him what I was looking for and he said, yes, that is exactly what I do. And it's even better that you are a business owner. So, uh, how, many, how many long have you stayed in Ghana for now? I've been here for eight days and I love it. Okay, so Seven or eight days. Yes. 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 The bus right here was long, but the countryside and the villages and the people are so beautiful. The country is beautiful. I enjoyed learning about the people, the languages, the food. Um, the names are very funny. Um, good sense of humor. They make me laugh. They tell me jokes. I tell jokes. They don't really laugh, but that's okay. <laughs> Is that home cooking, man? Uh, I don't know. Home cooking? No. Uh, my viewers. Home cooking was in home cooking. Which means a waka. And what I was trying to ask you was, it means you're not going back home, right? No. Yeah. What do you have me? Can I stay? <laughs> no, no, we have each other. Right. We have each other. And it's, it's good, you know. Uh, I think there's to be a whole lot of lies. Can you just share with us what are the white people be telling you about Africa? Uh, well, you know, the first thing they say to us in America um, is really intended to keep us divided. They say uh, Africans don't like African Americans. They don't like you, so you should never go back. Um, they say, uh, you know, African Americans are uh, lazy. Even though we 
built America, we're told that we're very lazy people. And that, you know, there is no place for us anywhere. And that we have no home, we have no one who will defend us, basically. Um, but they also tell us that, you know, Africa is undeveloped. It's not, they don't have buildings there. Um, the people are not well educated. And it never makes sense because the first dynasties are in Africa. So it never makes sense to me. But my mother is an African history professor. So even as a little child, I was taught the correct name. Okay. That's good. So I know you are married now. Yes. Yeah, well, you're also very lucky that you married before you guys came. <laughs> so, how long have you been with your husband and how many friends do you have with your husband or how many times? Your family, how many are you? So, it's my husband, it's my son, and um, and we have just us, really. Um, and so, we're all thinking of moving to Ghana. And so, yeah, that's good. That's yeah, good. yeah. That's good, I'm full back. Yeah, you are. And run it or get this casting. Now you be running our language because you are in Ghana. So absolutely you have to also understand our language as well. Because yes. we are trying to channel ourselves from the white people. So so therefore you will not speak the English because we need to speak our motherland language so that we will go down. So that make it. True. Eh, we're back and the she na you know I'm not much happy so we make it. Yeah, I bet you on this one you're not the same. I don't know to me. You don't know what? I don't know to me. I, I just know Aquaba. Mm -hmm. I have tea. A tea. 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 Well, when I went to the dungeon, I was so sad. I was so sad inside my heart because um, I realized that it was my grandmothers and my grandfathers that were in the dungeon. So those are those are the souls and the energy of my ancestors that were on. They were in the dungeon that were transported on the boats and that arrived in America. Those are my ancestors in the dungeon. And so that made me so sad because we still are not free. And um, it made me sad because their freedom was taken. They were captured, put in dungeons, raped, tortured, and it didn't stop there. It didn't stop. They got on the boats. It was even worse on the boats. And then when they got to America, it was a thousand times worse. So the torture, the pain, the agony of wanting to be home, it never went away. We still feel it. We know that we don't belong there. We feel it. We know. Um, I do. And you be a female. Let's let go back to the female country where the males that the females were being kept, raped, all sorts of things were did to them that were in a physics, relate and stuff. And you get opportunity to enter the country in the female cell. What was going through your mind? What was going through you? Uh, I was I I felt terrified, scared, like uh, what it must have felt for my grandmothers be there and to not have any say or control anymore, to be raped over and over every day by strange men. And then if you get pregnant, they take your baby or they kill you. And I don't know how to explain just the, the, the fear, the terror. It's scary to think of that. And um, and then if you had babies, your babies, your children were taken from you. You never saw them ever again. So it's heartbreaking and it's, it's, it's terrifying. It's so sad. Um, 
so that's all I kept thinking was how horrible they felt, how scared they must have been, how sad and terrified, scared the women were. Because their whole lives were never the same if they had a life to keep, if they kept their lives. All right. You were in the ganja, and obviously we all saw that those people who passed or who grew up as the white people in the midst of the tour. I know you guys were, I can see in your eyes, very upset, very annoyed. What's, what, what, what the man says? Well, it's sacred ground because those are our, our people. That is, um, that pain belongs to us and not for you to see it like a zoo. Like to watch our pain like we, you know, like it doesn't matter. Should not, you know, we felt they should not be there to see what they did to us. I understand that it's not the same people, but still, I was, I felt disrespected. Like, why are you here? You should read this in a book. You should not come to the holy ground where they actually died and suffered. It's holy. It's sacred now. So only the ancestors. We return to our people. And then move from the castle to one Africa as school. Yeah. One of them is a guest house, it's its own. Where you when know, diaspora people come from Ghana or Africa, they mostly lodge here. And you have been here. How do you see the environment? How do you see the people here? Oh, one Africa is lovely. It's beautiful. The people are so friendly. I love it here. It's right by the ocean. And my husband. Um, when he woke up, he said, Sweetheart, do you hear the women singing? And I said, No, I don't hear anyone singing. He uh, said, They've been singing to me all night. Yeah, no, maybe, maybe that's his mom. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said, I don't hear any women singing. And he said, They've been singing to me all night. And I did. I asked someone, and they said, That is the mothers. We, we hear that all the time. That when you uh, are this close to the equator and also to um, the uh, Guinea, the Gulf of Guinea, um, it's the center of uh, something. Uh, what is the center of the uh, uh, middle of the center of the Guinea? Yeah, and it's very spiritual. And so there's a connection here with the ancestors, and it's a spiritual place. And the ocean sounds beautiful. It has its own sound. Yesterday was Nemi ceremony. I know you guys are not used to being outside there, but here yeah, every child has its own name. Yes. The day you are born is the day that the name will be given to you. As I said, I'm a couple. I was born in Tuesday. And a couple has my scamp a surname, you know, the name. Everybody has a surname after they did that. So the fancy to the opposite of all that. They are car language. But I was I was named after a warlock alongside of Matthew Wood. Oh. Yes, so you have the significance among that. Yesterday you got your name. What the name was given to you? Essie. And Essie, yes. which is? Sunday born, God is sent. So, so first you know that you are a Sunday born and you are Essie. Yes, we have to turn our language to France. So just there. <laughs> okay. So, my phone is speaking to you on the front seat. Put on I say so P. G. 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 So, how do you see Nemi ceremony? How do you go about it? And what do you want to be to as a local name? How would you feel? Oh, I felt very good. Um, in America, we don't have our name. We are Johnson, Erickson, um, Blackson. <laughs> you don't have your own name. And so you're given European names. Or, like my mother named me Chancia, so that I would be different and not have a European name, right? So, but we don't know the meaning of names. Names have very little meaning to us, even though your name is who you are. So we, um, 
Mama Essie. They told me to have more babies. I don't know why, but. <laughs> Yeah, you should have more babies. <laughs> Why? I don't know. You're, you're still young, and then uh, you guys mean you and your husband are young. <laughs> so you can't tell me that you know you don't give better. Ah, well. I also thought I'm going to have fun on the line. If it's you, you know, I'm going to make a message to you. Mama Hazy has more babies. I don't know. Bye. Um, I loved it because now I have a name. Yes. What I was trying to say was. You know, you're too young. You know, if you don't want to do that, we are here to you know, help you to do this more. Be by four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have to do it like home. Now, because of your husband, eh? We'll continue with you. <laughs> because of your husband, so let's talk about okay. it. We'll see. Five. Oh! <laughs> Five? <laughs> Who, who's going to feed all of them? I don't know. It's a lot of children. It wasn't too short to get my children with other women. So, uh, let's let, let move from in the mess, let me say one for today. Jenny, you went to school. Now it's um, uh, at the Papa yeah. school. You meet a lot of children, yeah. you meet a lot of loving people, you donate and stuff. How? How do you feel about the children there out there? Oh. When you meet them? You see the way they are dancing, yeah. the teachers, the way they are welcoming you. Do you feel like you are home? Yeah. Oh, I love children. I love the children. They were so beautiful and so happy. So happy. Um, they were so happy to see me, to see all of us. And they were so excited. Oh, they were so happy and just joyful, filled with joy. It made us happy. Um, and we forgot about all of our troubles, just being with the children. We forget about all of our problems, just spending time with the babies. And they danced for us, they played the drums. Um, then they told us to get up and dance <laughs> with them. Um, we can't move as fast though. But um, it was lovely. It was amazing. It's quite unfortunate. We headed to Kapu Nasha Park today and you couldn't go with us. Yes. Were you scared with the canopy walk? Yes. You are scared with the canopy walk? Yes. People in India should have taken you along. No. Eh? no. Uh, I will shake no. because the canopy walk is under uh, Christian home. If you're not Christian, when you go to the canopy walk, that's when you begin to know your ancestors. You pray. You begin to know your God. <laughs> you understand? So if I knew you, know, you have a problem with that or you are scared, mm. I should have taken you along. Mm. Oh no. my gosh. No, no, no. I would be so scared. I would go up and not be able to come back. <laughs> you won't. You won't because if you know, very scary and shit and stuff, but oh. no, I don't think you'll be the first person who will be foreign or who will be break the records of the Kapuna Shaka. But since they built no one I have injured before, hmm. the, the habit, none of the group have been quite torn before. So everybody go and survive and come back. Uh, I As heard we went, that someone was back. screaming. Someone was screaming yeah, today. Yeah, the video is there. So <laughs> I think you will see the video. <laughs> so I think when you went there, you will be the next person to see. And then I think you have faith. When you go there, you have a lot of faith and stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, you need to go, oh my God. Yeah, I'll see. I'll pray, yeah. So yeah, let's make this question. <laughs> Tomorrow you are moving to Kumasi. Mm -hmm. Do you have any intention? in Ghana. Yes. But I have to go home first, but I would love to come back because I feel like this is also my home now. Um, I'm excited about Kumasi, uh, the home of the Ashanti, which was the most large and um, powerful um, group uh, here. I want to learn about the Golden School I want to learn about the queen who made the school stay in the tribe of the Ashanti. You are talking about Yasantua. Well. Yeah. And you want to be one of the Yasantua, right? Yeah, you are brave, but it's. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn about her, the warrior queen. And we need the girls, we need more women to feel pride and be um, strong. Because so many times we are not 
given credit when we do great things. No one talks about it. No one tells the girls about it, that you can do great and extraordinary things. So we need more education to let more girls know you can do great things to change the whole world. So as we are going, we will be going back to the States. Do you have intention to also organize the group, or do you have intention to you know, set up uh, social media to you know, tell our brothers and sisters who are there that, yes, what they tell you about Ghana is not like that, or Africa is not like that. Mm -hmm. I think you have been traveling a lot of countries and stuff. What do you see here? It's all different from what you see in the United States. Oh, I see love here and respect. I see people that are highly, highly intelligent, very smart. Dark, but also loving and not only trying to hurt one another for money or for status. So I will tell the story of my experience to everyone. You know, I will tell the story of my experience here to everyone. So they will come. Let's not forget. Let's ask you, what do you do in the uh, United States? I um, I am a disaster manager. So I manage disasters to help people save their lives for hurricanes, earthquakes, um, any disaster, explosions, chemical spills. But I do it for historically marginalized people, for underserved people for uh, black, indigenous, people of color, for women, for those who have been left out and excluded. Um, also, I do a lot of work in climate change, around climate change, sustainability, and climate adaptation. Thank you very much. You all can say, Terry, bless you, bless you, bless you, you understand? So, Ghana and Gabagas are not me. If it is Ghana, you know, you have any as Nambo. Nambo is when the data happens. Those people who help, those who are invited to support them with electric things also, and as a staff. So that's the job that you are doing. It's not good for someone I will come up with. But my change, 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 change. You know, change, change, change. The song? You know, change, 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 change. Yeah. Change, 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 change. change, change, change. It's a change, change, change. <laughs> what is he saying? It's a matter of who you want. So, change, 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 change. See, I'm not going to see what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to tell you at all. We'll see how far we're going to see how far we're going to see how far we're going to see what you're saying. Yes, my parents have sisters out there. She supports. People or uh, this job is to you know help people who are in, um, in danger or in situation whereby there's a flooding or a fire and stuff. So if you are in Ghana and then you are in Britain, please don't look at me, look at here. You understand? That's their job. Yes. Oh, see them over to the wall. Don't put your bed on anyone. Ah. So. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yes. I appreciate you. I appreciate you a lot. <laughs> I appreciate you. I really enjoy your conversation as well. You know, my first time, no, not my first time being in camera. I'm used to camera. No. But my first time being interviewed. Ah. Yes. My first time of being Maybe I should interview you. I'm going to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, what brings you to one Africa tonight? Watching your poor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the one doing the interview, not me. I'm the host. <laughs> She's not the host. Last time. I am the host. <laughs> now she wanted to, you know, try to be a host. No, no, no. This is not going to happen. Yeah. Well, I'm in one Africa. Because, you know, we need to support each other. Yeah. I met Nana Shabazz way back when I was in GSA. Time, and 
he was a movie, movie writer. So I love movie. I love being camera. Even though that wasn't my profession, but I love being camera. So after doing my school time and stuff, we, alongside the road, before the dancing, you see on the right side, you see the you, know, you see a bridge and a wooden structure along the side of the road. That's the TV and the radio. And that's where I started my journalism course. So I was a TV presenter and a radio presenter as well. At that time, and then after all, I channeled to myself. I, I do a lot of things, but that's about to be a father to all of us. And then that's why we are all in you know, one Africa to support and welcome our brothers and sisters to know the truth. To know the roots that we are here. We are not being the US or the Europe before, but we know the history of all that. We know what they tell you guys. You understand? You know, they tell all here about Africa because they knew that if they tell you the truth and you guys descend down, they are going to lose revenue. Because they don't pay shit, sorry, please, man. West, don't pay anything there. You guys need to pay everything here. So when you all guys descend to your destination, your roots, they are going to lose revenue. That's why they tell you a lot of lies so that you know you guys do not come about. God is so good. A lot of people and that's why people are here. We have a year of return every present day. And a lot of people are living when they come. They say, no, I'm not going back. So when you think a lot of that's what people living around. They have land, they have house, they have business. So we also encourage you people, when you also come, do the same thing. Have the faith. The faith that you have in your money that you grow. So the same thing to your brothers and sisters out there when you go there. Say, no, get up the money. Stop using the money for makeup. Yes. Some use the money for shopping That's right. and gather yes. your money and come to Africa and find, come and find the roots of your ancestors. Come and learn the history. Yes. Yes. We appreciate you. We appreciate your effort. Yes. The love you show us. We are dead. Say we are dead. We are dead. We are dead. We are dead. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm telling you that um, if you want to contact uh, uh, Mamani, you can contact Mamani, number me, that's 1404-931-9429, Mamani Tomba. You can also watch the social media, Facebook, WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere, Mamani Tomba. And also have faith on Mamani, you have done a great job, almost 2017 plus, I was young when I started this job. I'm very, very young. I have done this so many years. And now, every year you come to us, May and December. So you, can, if you cannot come May, try a match of this to come in December. Because December is a party, you know. You party here. Yeah. It's better for you to come in December. Yeah. I, wish, I wish you all the best. But December is the day that we enjoy our symbols. But that's the last month of every year. So you can also contact the money again. On plus one four zero one nine three one nine four two nine, and then every information will be given to you. Thank you very much. My name is Samuel Enchi, and also Kobla Mabe as a kind name, a social media handle. You can check it to Nipanya GH. Don't forget, do you have the social media handle? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you have a ticket. Instagram, I am Chancia. I am Chancia, C H A U N C I A. I am Chancia. Instagram. So, follow her and then wish all the best. Thank you very much. Adieu.